Hi guys, so this week I'm going to be planning the chorus theme layout. I follow a few other YouTubers, but I struggle to find any videos of anything before building the baseboards themselves, which seems really odd as it's a really important step and it helps you work out how things are actually going to look. So I'm going to show you what I do. So how I begin is to decide on a theme. Originally I was going to go with a chorus slash Talatlin hybrid. The main ideas here were that the layout was relatively small, being on a single baseboard, and was almost a caricature of the prototypes. This is the station with a strong resemblance to Eskageliog on the chorus, with a platform curving around a bend, and the road crossing the line to the left. This here was going to be a village incline based on Abaganolwin on the Talatlin and a couple of bits here nodding to the TR mineral line, such as cattle creeps. This layout was all going to be on a hillside, with the road climbing up to an off-scene quarry, and the railway going round the back of the hillside with hidden sidings for storage. I sat on this idea for a while, but as I got to work building the chorus rolling stock that you've seen in the previous videos, I decided to scrap the idea of the two railways and just make it all chorus. At this point, I went to my chorus books for inspiration on what I could put in a now freed up space. I spent some time reading these and selecting any photographs that appealed to me, and here are a few I chose. The station area was to stay where it was originally. So this photo shows how the railway runs below the road, with a nice slate wall separating them. Through the middle of the layout, the railway and road would run together, as it does through Freeth Woods. I decided I want to have a go at a small version of the Dovey Bridge where the incline was going to sit. I just love this photo of the eroding bank where the line runs along up to Freeth Gate. So this would join the bridge in the woods, which was ideal. This new plan was now drawn up. It all seemed to fit together quite nicely, and the line still ran off scene to the rear, so I didn't really bother drawing it in. I was happy with this design, but the next step was to work out how it would fit in the actual dimensions. So drawing on the back of an old roll of wallpaper, which I marked out at 4 foot wide and 18 inch deep, I drew it up. Using strips of 009 track and some rolling stock really helps to see how the seams will fit. I ended up with a helper for this job, as colouring is a popular pastime here. So this drawing ended up with a strong arty feel. But hopefully you can see at the end where the main points of interest are. Eventually a second helper was commissioned, but I do question what they brought to the job, aside from acting as a fluffy paperweight. This step is really important, as drawing just in the notepad doesn't show the true scale of things like runaround loops, such as around a winding tower on the first plan. And this is actually one of the main reasons that the layout quite quickly became a single line. At this point I had a visit from a good modeling friend, who has expertise in small layout building. In fact he has a lovely book out and the link's in the description. We discussed the plan and how I had reservations on how the river would go off scene. He had a genius suggestion which I hadn't even thought of. Why do I even have an off scene area? Why can't the whole layout be on scene? In this way I could turn the layout around and have a new scene when I fancied the change. So back to the notepad. This time the Dovey Bridge was shrunk down to a much smaller version, based on the footbridge at Kainrus, and the river turned into a smaller stream. The hillside moved from the back to the centre of the layout, with the stream vanishing up into shrubs and trees. Around the back, instead of being off-scene, the layout would now run through a bit of quarry, such as Abbot Lafeni. And finally, the road was a continuous loop, with a bridge over the stream. For a final time, this was drawn up in full scale, and I was happy to go for it. The final notepad drawing shows how I write down ideas for the scenery and details. The season is planned for spring, with dead bracken on the hillside and puddles on the road. The last job for this stage was to work out what wood I'd need for the baseboard. I plan this as an extremely simple build. The baseboard is basically a sheet of 9mm ply with a cross style frame in the centre for added strength. So three pieces of wood. The only detail of note here is that the layout won't be a standard rectangle, but curved for added interest. So that's it for now. 
probably boring for you to watch, but it is so important to have a good idea of what you're going to be building. And as you can see from this, I actually went through three plans before getting to the final design. If I didn't do this, I would have come across those issues during the build itself, and at that point it's really difficult to fix them. So I hope you like the idea. It's got lots of scope for scenic detail and techniques, such as the stream water. So if you haven't yet, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you're all up to date with the videos. Cheers.